Hello everyone and welcome to Divine Conquer Overhaul version 7 Talios Bridge Faction Overview of Antwife. The Javelin people, if you will. So, Antwife. What is Antwife? What its speciality and what sort of strengths does it have and what weaknesses? Well, first of all, they're the Javelin people through and through. Javelins are your means of warfare, your means of attack, and in some cases even the means of defense. You do not get money from mines. You do not get mines. Let me, let me find a mine. Uh, there we go. The city. You do not get mines. You cannot build mines whatsoever. You just you cannot. You cannot build mines. What you can do is get a lot of money from uh, fisheries. Let me see if I can find the fishery. There you go. There's a fishery. Fishery will give you 1400 gold and 2800 gold. But it's very, very small. Fisheries are also very important for you because fisheries will also allow you to recruit the javelin units. You don't get the javelin units just freely nilly now. You actually need to you need to get the fishery and then from the fishery you get your javelin units. Of course, as a wildman faction, you do not have very high armor. You have only one heavily armored unit that requires the blacksmith and the iron resource, and that is of course the moot. Keepers. Let me see if I can showcase that uh, from the blacksmith here. I cannot because the uh, the barracks. Yeah, yeah, because that. A uh, union's hall will give you all of your elites, but the where, where is where is the name of those units? I want to say Mi, uh, Minhiriath warriors. They come from everywhere, basically your barracks. But these guys, the guardians of Anadvive, foresters of Halef. War wagons and a couple of more will need uh, will come from this place, and you can only recruit uh, build them in a couple of places. Your uh, major economic tradable resource is the fish, grain, and furs. So very much an agrarian faction or a fishery faction. You have three unique uh, bodyguards. Uh, Fas uh, Fasca comes with Minkriath warriors. Let me just see where he is. That's not Fiskar. That's not Fiskar. Not Fiskar. Where are you, Fiskar? Uh, sorry, not Fiskar. Fasca. There's Fasca. Uh, Fasca has, of course, the uh, Minhiaf Warriors, the only unit that you get from your all barracks. So that's pretty, pretty good. Uh, next one is uh, Cameron. Cameron comes with the Foresters of Haleth, your best archer, uh, archer. And we have the Urderek. Let me see where is Odorak. I think this is Odorak, right? Yeah, Odorak comes with uh, Angren Raiders, a javelin unit. Very, very good javelin unit for you. So yeah, that's a bit, that's about it for that's about it for Anadvive. You want to get as many fisheries as possible, and from those fisheries recruit as many javelins as possible. It's it's that kind of um, I've got the name symbiosis. Yeah, yeah, symbiosis between those two. You want both. You want the fishery because it will give you that. Uh, you have no money though at the start. You will lose a tremendous amount of money act immediately. So build the fisheries where you can immediately. Don't, don't wait. Just build them. Uh, with that, let's go look at the units. So here we are with Anvice unit. Anvice units. Sorry about that. So. Uh, a lot of javelin because you are the javelin faction. Let's look at your units. First of all, and life clansmen. A attack, free charge, very good uh, attack, and total defense of seven. It's free armor, free defense skill, and one shield. Horrible, uh, horrible defense, but good attack. A attack is pretty good, but defense is horrible. Uh, they, have a they have a cost of 1,070 and upkeep of 550. Very cheap unit. Very, very cheap unit. Next is the Erin Born Woodsman. Sorry about that naming. Maybe um, I should be a little bit more slow with it, but I don't really care. Let's just move on. <laughs> Six attack, two charge, pretty okay. They are, uh, look like pikemen, probably halberdiers if you ask me, but maybe, maybe pikemen. And total defense of nine, with four armor and five defense skill. If they're pikemen, six attack is awesome. If they're halberdiers, that's a little bit less awesome. But. They have a cost of 1050 and I have people 550. Very, very, very cheap. 
Next one. Grave Flood X-Men. 9 attack, 5 charge, effective against armor. Good unit. That's good. 200 of them, good unit. But total defense of 9. No armor. Oh boy. And 9 defense skill. Naked. They be naked. So, uh, yeah. Only only with their... How do the British say? With their britches and that's it. Uh, or underwear. As uh, the more common English is being used. Let me just see if I can find the, the cost quickly. Uh, it seems like I can't, which is unfortunate. I'm going to have to look a little bit carefully. Uh, 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 is that it? No, yeah. No, it's not. It's, it's not. Damn it. It's the horseman. There we go. Axeman. Cost. Because of the good attack and the effective against armor, their cost is 1230 and upkeep of 615. So a little bit more expensive, but way more aggressive. Way, way more aggressive. Then we come to the Anvive Hunters, your archers. Uh, nine, six, six, sorry, nine, six attack, twelve miss, uh, two missile attack, which is horrible, and two charge bonus with total defense of six, free armor and free defense skill. Horrible archers. Um, I would not recruit them because javelins are a thing, and you are an advice. But if you wish to do it, hey, do it. I wouldn't, but hey. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, they have a cost of 1080 and an upkeep of 540, so very, very cheap. But that's all besides the point, because we come to your... Where's the horseman? Where's the horseman? What the fuck? There we go. Uh, then we come to your first javelin unit. 2 melee attack, 11 missile attack. This early is insane. And 1 charge bonus, doesn't matter. Uh, total defense of 9 with 1 armor, 6 defense skill, and 2 shield. 11 missile attack. That is awesome. Get as many of them as possible. Don't, don't you dare try to be cute. There's no time to be cute. Time to use javelin men as effectively as possible. Uh, Grey Flood Raiders have a range of 100. They're not effective against armor, but they have 8 javelins to throw so these motherfuckers ha can throw a javelin 100 meters they're almost archers almost and that's what makes ad vibe so special their javelin men have the longest range in the game and extremely high damage we're not yet talking about armor piercing that's the focus of that's the specialty of good units and elites but your uh, militia has very high damage as do all of them Great Flood Horsemen, 2 melee attack, horrible, 13 missile attack, again, it's the Javelin, 13 missile attack is insane, and 3 charge bonus, and total defense of 9, with 3 armor, 4 defense skill, and 2 shield. Insane, 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 recruit them as many as you can, that's my advice. Uh, they have a range of 100, <laughs> they're horsemen, <laughs> and have a range of 100, oh, that's amazing. And they have 9 missiles, so 1 extra missile, same range, 2 extra damage. They have a cost of 1,390 and upkeep of 1,615. Recruit these two as many as, much, as, many as you can, because uh, you, you want to kill your enemy before it reaches you, because that's what it is, 11 missile attack will do that. Um, if you fail, well, then good luck. Uh, then we're going to look at the river scouts, your first normal, I mean, normal. First normal cavalry. Let me just see if I can find them quickly. Of course, I can, I can never find anything quickly. Okay. Here we are. Uh, 10 attack, 5 charge. Horrible. Uh, good attack, but horrible uh, charge. Total defense of 13 with only 3 armor and 10 defense skills. So basically, they have some clothes. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. They have a cost of 1570 and upkeep of 780, so relatively cheap cost. Then we come to your basically shield units that you're gonna use for defense. Nine attack, four charge. That's okay. Can for shield. Can make a shield wall. Can hide anywhere. Is skilled against mounts. Okay. Total defense of 17. Not bad. Five armor. Horrible. Six defense skill and six shield. 
And the shield is what makes them good, basically. It's a shield. If they didn't have that good shield, then they will be worthless. But because they have the shield, they are really, really good for defense. They have an upkeep. They have a cost of 1590 and an upkeep of 775. So not bad. Not bad cost. Uh, River Swordsman, the aggressive unit with 11 attack and 5 charge. That's awesome. Total defense of 14 with 6 armor, 5 defense skill, and 3 shield. A good little unit, I would say. Oh, that, you know, 143 is not small, but good unit. I like them. 1590 cost and 770 upkeep. Very, very cheap units, but very uh, high damage, may I argue. I cannot talk about the Southern Mercenaries cost because they are in the mercenary section of the folder, which I'm not going to talk about. But 6 attack, effective against armor. So the halberdiers are really, really good. 6, def six attack is really good. 5 charge bonus is bad. Uh, total defense of 13, 6 armor, and 7 defense skills. So this is one of the highest armors in your early game, actually, which is funny. Uh, they're good. Effect against armor, pretty good. Not good, not as good as the... Uh, where are they? As the Grateful Daxman, but they're not bad. And finally, we have the River Archers. Another archer unit, which you're horrible with archers. A 9 melee attack, 3 mi <laughs> missile attack, that's cute. And 3 charge bonus with total defense of 10, 6 armor and 4 defense skill. So a little bit higher armor, but just no missile attack. Like, that is horrible. They have a cost of 1580 and upkeep of 765. Don't recruit your archers, just do not worth it. Don't do it. But we're gonna look immediately at the River Elders. Oh, oh boy, River Elders are insane they might need to go here but it doesn't really matter they're so good they might be elites and, you know so let's look at them oh no they, they are they are they are here because no effective uh, no effective against armor but look at this 16 missile attack doesn't matter if they're not effective against armor 16 missile attack is insane in and of itself so 9 melee attack 16 missile attack and 5 charge and total defense of 27 with 9 armor, 15 defense skill, and 3 shield. So decent armor. 16 missile attack is insane. And I think they have body piercing. Let me see if I'm correct about that. Uh, River Elders, River Elders. It's going to take some time to find them. Let me see. Uh, no, they do not have body piercing. But they have 9... <laughs> Nine uh, shots basically and 120 range. 120 range! That's insane! It is insane! Because that's the point! That's that's added life. They have a cost of 2780 and upkeep of 1330. Really, really good. Really good, if you ask me. Uh, War Chanters. 18 attack, 5 charge, inspires me by troops. These women are ferocious with that 18 attack. And total defense of 22 with 9 armor and 13 defense skill. Uh, but this is just horrible. Defense is horrible. Just don't worry about the defense on all the units but one. Just don't worry about it. They have a cost of 2100 and upkeep of 1000. Not bad. Then, of course, the uh, Minhiath Warriors. 19 attack. Beautiful. 10 charge. Beautiful. Total defense of 18. Horrible armor of 2 and total defense of 16. Uh, yeah, just horrible. That's about it. Nothing else to say about them. Just horrible. Uh, let me just see where they are so I can talk about the cost. I'm pretty sure it's like something cheap. It's not that expensive. Your, your armies are not that expensive. They just have no defense. So basic archers will kill them. But your javelin men have over 100 range or at least 100 range. So you will kill most of their units also before they reach you. Uh, cost of 2180 and an upkeep of uh, 1010. Pretty, uh, pretty cheap and pretty good. Uh, should I talk about the Mood Keepers last? I'm going to talk about the Mood Keepers last. Alright. Angren Raiders. A 6 melee attack, 14 missile attack. Finally effective against armor. These are godlike units. 3 charge and total defense of 15. With 6 armor, 5 defense skill and 4 shield. So horrible defense, but 14 missile attack that is effective against armor. We finally see the Javelin Men that are effective against armor. They have a uh, hundred and twenty range. Six of them are of them uh, arrows, arrows, spears, I guess, or javelins, and uh, they will kill whatever you point them at. 
with the 14 missile attack and effective against armor and 120 range, they will kill a lot of units without any trouble. Oh yeah, I didn't talk about the cost. Uh, cost is 1600 and upkeep is 775. Very, very cheap. Very cheap, very deadly. But it's just, they get killed by arrows. They just, they die by arrow fire. Uh, Foresters of Halef, finally a decent, and I do mean decent archer. These are early game stats, but still decent archer, I guess. Uh, 12 melee attack, 7 missile attack, 2 charge with total defense of 17. 7 armor, 7 defense kill, 3 shield. So finally, 7 missile attack. That's a decent stat. It's nothing. It will not. It will do. It will, it will do shit against late game units, but early game it, it will do some damage. They have a cost of 2,190 and upkeep of 980. Now the chariots or war wagons uh, are good. Nine melee attack, 18 missile attack. That's beautiful. Seven charge bonus. They they should be effective against armor, but I guess there's, maybe they're not. And total defense of 15 with 10 armor, 5 defense skill, and of course no shield, because <laughs> no shield. <laughs> uh, let me talk about the war wagons. Um, oh no, they are effective against uh, armor. It just doesn't show here. Weird, but yeah, they are effect The javelin is effective against armor. They have 130 range. That is officially a range of a missile cavalry. That's insane. They have. Uh, 11 spears, javelins, so that's awesome also. Their uh, chariot has 18 armor, 6 defense skill, and 3 shield. That's, that is amazing. 18 armor is pretty, pretty good. They also cost 3,050 and have an upkeep of 1,400. Uh, 1400. Now, let's talk about the mood keepers. Your only armored unit. This unit is extremely armored, and they're basically your late game elite they will protect the angrim raiders the guardians of van Wife, the war wagons and all that mood keepers 16 attack 4 charge bonus and total defense of 29 with 20 armor 20 armor that is uh two armor less or even maybe one armor less than the Dor dorvinians elite unit that's how good mood keepers are. 20 armor, uh, it just that's amazing. That's amazing. Unfortunately, you only get them from blacksmiths that have also the iron resource in them. But just they're worth it. Mood keepers are worth it. Get them as much as you can where you can. They're 100% worth it. And if you upgrade them fully, they can go to 24 armor, which is just awesome. Awesome for your mood keeper. Um, they, will, they will hold the line. They will hold the line. They will protect you. They will, they are, they're just amazing. They have a cost of 2,780 and upkeep of 1,320. And uh, finally, we talk about your legendary unit and your bodyguard. Let's talk about the bodyguard first. So, Elder Guildsman. Effective against armor, skill against mounts, CIA can't hide anywhere. 11 attack, 13 missile attack. Pretty good missile attack. Of course, effective against armor is amazing. And 5 charge bonus, which is bad. Total defense of 21. 9 armor and 12 defense skill. Yeah, they're not good uh, defenders, but they have a range of 130, which is awesome. And they keep seven uh, javelins with them. That is, that is amazing. They're, they're really, really good. They have a cost of 2,400 and upkeep of 940. But finally, we talk about your legendary unit and the best javelin men in the game, gods if you will. The Guardians of Enid with 10 melee attack, 18 missile attack, effective against armor, 18 missile attack is insane. 8 charge bonus is bad, eh, it's decent I guess. Total defense of 31 with 19 armor and 12 defense skill. That's right, not even your legendary unit beats your armored unit. So mood keepers really are your most heavily armored unit. Of course, Guardians are close second. Armor piercing, body piercing, everything that you can think about the Guardians of Ant Vibe, it has. It is an amazing unit. It has a range of 140. We're talking archer range. That's how good they are. And they keep 10 javelins with them. They're insane. That's how good they are. They're insane. So, and wife, what are they? They're javelins. That's it. They're javelin. They're fishermen who are fucking sick and tired of the world and just want to pierce everything. 
That's about it. And the mood keepers are there to be a wall of armor. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I greatly appreciate the support. Goodbye.